Welcome to Open Mic NeuroStyle. I'm your host, Bill Nissen. This forum enables you, the audience, to share information about neural breakthroughs and innovations in this industry. The universe of neuro treatments is vast, and we hope to introduce you to a wide assortment of therapies, technologies, and treatments. In this episode, we are joined by Dr. Patrick Nemechev, CEO of Nemechev Technologies. His company produces the Vitality Smart Cable, the first Vegas nerve simulator powered by your phone. Welcome, Dr. Nemechev. Thanks for having me on, Bill. Please tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, Bill, I'm an internal medicine specialist, and uh, I spent many, many years in uh, the early days of HIV disease uh, and, and managing those patients and involved in both the clinical and research side of that. And then over time, as the disease progressed, uh, I became more, more of an expert in inflammation disorders because that's actually an active part of HIV infection and ultimately in brain injuries that HIV patients were getting and then brain injuries that people without HIV were getting. And we started progressing and moving and working on protocols that will allow people to fully recover from concussions and uh, other kind of, of brain injuries. Hmm. Your company came to our attention with the publication of some intriguing uh, interim clinical trial results using vagus nerve simulation as a therapy for hospitalized patients with COVID-19 pneumonia. Can you tell us a little bit about this trial and how it came about and what the partial results suggest? Well, very, uh, after a few months of the COVID epidemic, it became quite obvious that a inflammatory surge called the cytokine storm is involved in multiple aspects of damage and uh, causes of death in these patients. And this is similar to another phenomenon called septic shock in medicine. We use a device in my practice for brain recovery and to reduce inflammation called the vagus nerve stimulator. The vagus nerve stimulator has been shown to be able to regulate in even quite severe settings of a cytokine storm in a way to reduce and improve outcome, reduce mortality and improve outcomes in septic shock. So we decided we needed to try uh, a trial using this in patients, hospitalized patients with COVID-19. So how might vagus stimulation uh, help these particular patients? The, the vagus nerve, one of the, is the, <clears throat> the body's master regulator for your immune response. Okay. And we've been using electric stimulators for 20, 25 years in severe epilepsy. Now, most of these devices are implanted in the chest. Uh, fortunately, when the vagus nerve comes down through the side of the skull, it shoots a branch out to the ear. And with a simple clip, you can stimulate the uh, vagus nerve in ways very, very similar to the implantable device. Hmm. So we had already had developed uh, our vitality cable, which is a vagus nerve stimulator that simply is powered by uh, iPhone or Android. And we have in the fat body here, our microprocessors that regulate electricity and a simple clip on the ear. So we designed a protocol using this device and we had a group of uh, physicians running a hospital in Buenos Aires who were eager to try this in our patients. And so basically, if you came into the hospital with COVID and you needed oxygen, this was added to your therapy on top of anything else the doctors wanted to do. And it, uh, we have a very, very surprising uh, outcome with our mortality and rates and our use of mechanical ventilation are about as low as you can find in any hospitalization trial. So when do you expect the re to release the results of the full trial? We released uh, interim safety and efficacy analysis in November, and by the end of January, we hope to have the final publication uh, submitted to the uh, journals for uh, publication. It would probably be then another month after that that the final data would come out. Interesting. 
So now let's turn more towards the the, um, the device. So what was the evolution of VNS therapy used in your practice, and how did it lead to the development of the Vitality Smart Cable? Well, I'm not, my initial population base was in adults, and in trying to get brain recovery in adults, and we're talking about people maybe with concussive symptoms 10, 20, 30 years after the event. Uh, we found that if we, we have a, a kind of multifaceted, some nutritional things that we do, uh, some other things that have to deal with the intestinal bacteria, but by adding the vagus stimulator, we found in the adults at two hours a day, we have these dramatic recoveries in people. Uh, as we went with that, we were somewhat accidentally discovered that our adult protocol will vastly improve the recovery rates in autism developmental delays in children. But there, we only need five minutes a day. Hmm. At the same time, there was simultaneous research coming out telling us that five minutes a day is all that is required to control inflammation, which is the basis of our protocol, especially in the children. And as more and more, uh, there was more and more success with the, with the children, we decided we needed to come out with a five minute device because we were in my clinical practice, we were having people fly here from all over the world just to get the vagal stimulator. And I, we felt that was quite unfair uh, for, for people. And so we went about, it took about a year to get the product ready and uh, we launched it back in November of 2019. What are the conditions would you use to treat uh, with VNS? Probably the single most important aspect of vagal stimulation is its ability to reduce inflammation. And uh, in the last 30 years, there's been a growing concept called inflammation, which is tells us that inflammation is a triggering and driving force in the vast majority of illnesses that adults are accustomed to, from 85% of cancers to diabetes, strokes, heart attacks, autoimmune disorders, Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, all of these disorders are triggered and being fueled by inflammation. Mm -hmm. And that a simple five minutes of VNS will drop this inflammatory stress throughout not just the body, but in the brain as well. And if somebody were to do it four times a day, you get incremental reduction of inflammation, just as you might if you took uh, ibuprofen four times in a day rather than once a day. And the future for vagal stimulation is enormous mm -hmm. in that uh, it's just going to be a, now a matter of, because the devices are fairly simple, what's very complicated is who do we use it in? Who is going to benefit in this? Finding the right target so that when you invest the money to do the clinical work and so forth, you can actually bring a device forward uh, for FDA approval. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that makes sense. All right, so let's let's turn to the addressable market. So currently, uh, who are your customers? Who would who would buy the Vitality Smart Cable? Uh, it's twofold. There is a uh, growing awareness of the benefits of this for autism. So a large number of the uh, purchasers are parents with ch children with autism or developmental issues. And then we're, we have a growing number of adults that you might call early adopters. There is a large amount of data about the vagus nerve, the importance of the vagus nerve. It keeps spilling out in a variety of different studies. And it's conceptually rather simple to comprehend for uh, your average consumer and they want to be a part of this and, and, and take advantage of it. The, the ideal aspect is it's relatively inexpensive. It's very simple to use. And um, the safety margin, it's almost risk-free, literally. And so uh, we're, we're having more and more adults are, are seeking out our device. Hmm. Interesting. Well, now let's kind of talk about the future. What's next for Nemechek Technologies? Uh, we, we think we're obligated to push forward and try to get a medical indication of vagus stimulation for 
children. And it's, they're often overlooked, but we have this huge wave of autism and developmental disorders that most people are aware of now that's just sweeping through not only the United States, but worldwide. This is being driven by inflammation. We are refining our device. Uh, we need to decouple it from the phone. So we're going to have basically a simple Vegas stimulator that probably is no more than this. That could run five minutes a day for children. And that device coupled with the, with the right studies, and mainly we're going to be looking, I think, at attention and focus uh, from anything from simple uncomplicated ADD, say in a teenager, all the way down to severe autism, uh, that this device in my clinical experience is super powerful for these children. And I think, you know, we all look forward to retiring some point in our life, but this is uh, something we feel obligated to do before we even consider uh, the next chapter in our life. So we're very, very committed to this and are looking for the technical partners who can help us take our clinical experience and focus and make this a reality. So would you care to share other bioelectric products that you might have in development right now? Well, as I said, we're, we're working on a singular device mm -hmm. uh, we call Destiny. We have uh, another device that I wear myself mm -hmm. here. This is a, uh, we call it longevity this can run for four hours a day. It's very comfortable. So this might be a device that's used for post-concussion uh, uh, injuries, uh, you know, chronic traumatic encephalopathy or CTE in professional athletes, things like this. It's very, very effective. And then we have a, uh, another device that will be coming out. It's a Vitality wireless device. So it's still a consumer product not you know, disconnected so you don't have uh, a wire into the phone as well. So we have multiple products we're pushing forward with, as well as uh, a heart rate variability monitor called My Autonomic Health. Mm -hmm. And this is kind of the flip side of the whole product in that we have devices that can actually improve vagus function and improve inflammation and my autonomic health device is a simple device that can measure your inflammatory stress in the body and the health of the vagus nerve. Beautiful. Well, Dr. Nemechek, we really appreciate your time today. Um, if you would like to speak with Dr. Nemechek about his company or products, uh, the, his information is noted below. Please uh, go ahead and email him or go ahead and visit his website. And we look forward to seeing you on the next episode of Open Mic Neurostyle.